Hi everyone, Bernard Ma here, author of Generative AI in Practice. Today we are diving into a fascinating case study of how IKEA, the global furniture giant, is using generative AI to revolutionize the customer experience and enhance operational efficiency. So let's dive in. First up, let's talk about your home design experience. IKEA has introduced a cutting edge AI chatbot that acts like a personal design assistant. They've had this now for a long time where you can use augmented reality to visualize furniture in your room. But the latest version of this goes far beyond it. You can scan your room, you can take out existing furniture, you can place in IKEA furniture. And the AI will even look at the room setup and your style and suggest restyling options where you can personalize them. You can even tailor the styles and colors and even set budgets to suit you. And for me, this is super exciting, especially when you start combining this with virtual reality. Imagine redesigning your living space with the help of AI while you're walking around in it. It's all about creating an entirely new way to shop, smarter, faster and much more personalized. IKEA is also experimenting with using generative AI for their advertising campaigns. If you think as a company, they have huge photo studios in Sweden where they place furniture and shoot them. And they used to have different seasons. So they would have a summer shoot, an autumn shoot, a winter shoot. Now they only have to do one shoot and then the AI can create a new scene. So for example, if you have shot a piece of furniture in the summer and you now want to use that for a Christmas campaign and you want a Christmas tree in the background and some snow on the window and some Christmas decorations, you simply write a prompt and the AI will create an image that works. And for me, this is a super exciting example of using AI. I also want to look at the operation side. So AI isn't just stopping at the customer facing um, side. They are also using AI to optimize everything from delivery routes to inventory management. In, I in IKEA's large distribution centers, for example, autonomous mobile robots are now streamlining how products are picked and packed. And this improves sustainability and efficiency. They even use autonomous drones to monitor inventory across 16 stores in countries like Belgium, Switzerland and Germany. Um, these drones operate autonomously using operating during non-operational hours to enhance stock accuracy and update real-time product availability for both physical and online shopping. So this is all about smarter resource management and reducing waste, ensuring that operations are as green and efficient as possible. So as IKEA integrates more AI into its processes, there is a huge focus on the responsible use of AI, as well as educating its workforce. So IKEA has established an ethical AI task force. It's crucial that AI is used in a way that is beneficial and minimizes potential harm. And this task force focuses on maintaining human dignity and privacy at the forefront of every digital initiative. On top of that, the company is rolling out an AI literacy program aimed at training 3,000 staff members in the fundamentals of ethical and responsible AI by the end of this year. So this initiative is designed to ensure that everyone from store managers to warehouse staff understands how AI tools work and how they can be used responsibly. IKEA believes that preparing its employees for the future starts with solid education today. So what does this mean for you and me? It means that shopping for home furnishing is becoming more interactive, efficient and environmentally friendly. IKEA is setting a fantastic example of how businesses can use AI not just to boost profitability but to enhance customer satisfaction and operational sustainability. 
For more, you can check out my video podcast with IKEA's Chief Digital Officers on my channel here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe and have a look at my book Generative AI in Practice for more insights on how technology is transforming our world. See you in my next video.